of all of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. Amen.
So this makes me think about how in our lives and, and maybe in our, in, our, in our life of faith as well, there's a way in which um, we have sort of these big moments, right? And then there's also living out those. We have these big moments and commitments. Um, and then we have the living out of those commitments. Um, and those two things can feel very different, right? So I might, um, I might say to God, yes, I, I give my life to you. Um, and then, uh, like eight years later, you're doing some weird piece of paperwork that you know has to be done, and you hate it, but you're like, well, okay, I guess this is part of that big promise that I made. Or like I'm thinking about um, like a big promise that I want to care for the environment, I want to care for the earth. And so I'm going to um, care for the environment, and I make that commitment, I want to care for God's creation, and so you think, oh, I made this big commitment. And then uh, you're washing plastic bags at the end of a long day, and you think, you know, I would love to just throw away this one plastic bag. It's not a big deal, right? It's just one plastic bag. And in some ways, it isn't that big of a deal. But on the smaller level, when you're living it out each day, it's kind of like a pattern. It's like an accumulation. So finding a way to live out the little uh, moments. But there's also a way in which those little moments can get to feel routine and get to feel like um, not, not super exciting, right? Like we don't always remember the moments. You don't sit there and say, remember that time that I washed a plastic bag? Or does anyone do that? No. no? You don't? The clock bag. Right, wash the clock bag, yeah. Oh, you don't wash bags. Well, mm -hmm. I'm using it as an example because it's one of those things where you feel really, um, like, is this petty? Do you know what I mean? Like, how important is this to wash out my Ziploc bag, you know? Uh, but it's sort of part of the larger project, right? Maybe, I, should I say taking out the compost? I don't know, recycling. Sorting and recycling? No. Okay. So, um, but my point is that, that you can get into a routine and then it starts to lose a sense of, um, Grandiosity, right? So I, my feeling is that when the people were coming in to hear Jesus, they were expecting just kind of like another Sunday sermon. And Jesus said, no, this is history. We're in the middle of history. So what does Jesus say? He says these things about being on the side of the poor and, on, um, and bringing about justice, bringing an end to oppression. And I think the thing, the other thing that interests me about this, that he says, today this is fulfilled in your hearing, is that he doesn't get up and say, all right, you guys have a job to do, which is to bring justice. You guys have a job to do, which is to have there be good news. With them. What makes what he says true is that God is doing it. He says, the spirit of the Lord has anointed me. God is the one who is sending. These are the things that God is doing. And so that's what makes it good news for us today. Um, God has made a commitment to us to bring good news to the poor, to bring freedom to the captive, to bring an end to um, oppression and slavery. And so um, it's kind of amazing in a way that, that we don't, we're invited to be part of it. We're invited to make a commitment and to join God in bringing about this kingdom. And at the same time, this is something that God is doing. And so if we're, uh, if we're not careful, it may happen that Jesus will show up in the middle of our regular lives. Listen to me, I'm like, if you're not careful, if you're paying attention, <laughs> Jesus will show up in the middle of the living out of our big commitments. And we'll stop and we'll say, wait a minute. This is what it is. This is history. Will you pray with me? Loving God, I ask that you would be present with us in living out our commitments to you and to one another. I ask that you be present in bringing about a, a new society is marked by justice, by love, by freedom, by healing.
God, I ask that you would help us to see Jesus. Wherever he may be. In Jesus' name. So let's have a little time for a reflection, and then we'll have some community conversation.